We can't afford to let Africa grow. We can't afford to let Africa be on top. We cannot afford to allow Africa to industrialize and start producing manufacturers. Okay, so we will do everything to stop that. You see that statement? That we are not the reason why they are poor. And to show them, it's your fault that you're poor. It's not our fault. It's your fault that you're poor. You know? If we allow Africa to do something different, they are going to fall. If we allow Africa to industrialize, they are going to fall. We can't allow Africa to produce and industrialize their economy. And to show them, it's your fault that you're poor. It's not our fault. It's your fault that you're poor. You know? Look at what the man is projecting. Sub-Saharan Africa has been fundamental to the global prosperity of the advanced countries and Africa had a role to play. It has a role as a raw material producer. We will not allow Sub-Saharan Africa to escape that. Okay, we do everything to keep Sub-Saharan Africa where it is, also impoverished. It's absolutely vital for the prosperity of everyone else. So let's get clear about that. Okay, and this means all the economic structures, all the global institutions, and the economics we teach everyone is all designed to keep Africa exactly where it is. And whether it is Europe or US or now China, it's always the same. We need Africa to be impoverished because we need those raw materials and we need them dirt cheap. Okay, so that's the message. It doesn't mean to say that there's nothing Africans can do. Of course there is. This is what it's about. Because if Africa does do something different, I assure you living standards of all those in Europe and North America and Asia is going to fall. Okay? And that is a big price to pay. I assure you that the West is not going to allow that without a big fight. Okay, so the job of many Western academics is to convince Africans they have to keep doing what they're doing. Okay, and to show them it's your fault that you're poor. It's not our fault. It's your fault that you're poor. You know, so this is what we do in academic institutions. We know the basic forces that have caused this underdevelopment. We know it's colonization. We cannot afford to allow Africa to industrialize and start producing manufacturers. Okay, so we will do everything to stop that. And I'm going to show you how we actually block that. We had East Asian rapid industrialization processes. So in the earlier period, we had Japan and Korea and Taiwan. Okay, rapid growth, sucking in raw materials from Africa, driving up the prices. And after those countries finished industrialization, then Sub-Saharan African growth rate again fell. Sub-Saharan Africa is condemned to this role just the supplier of raw materials, not a manufacturer. The currencies are collapsing of these countries and many of them are sub-Saharan African countries. After colonization ended, we needed new structures to keep these countries where they were. Okay, and the first of those is aid. Okay, we give them aid. Aid for what? Actually, we give them aid to keep repressive regimes in power. That's all. All the hypocrisy about transparency and democracy and bullshit like that, it's all bullshit. But it would go to country after country offering loans. And if the president did not accept the loan, they were killed. It's just economics. It's economic warfare. The rich declare war on the poor. It happens everywhere. It happens in the country. The rich control the government. Of course they do. You really believe you have democracy? Come on. I mean, grow up. Who has all the subsidies and income support? US, Europe. The largest budgets in the world for supporting their farmers are Europe and US. You see, we're keeping them dependent. We're keeping them on a string. This next round of the WTO is designed to block that. 
to block anyone else getting on top of the ladder. A lecturer from the American society is lecturing that they can't allow Africa to grow. And when they will allow us to do the things we are doing, like traveling outside the world, going to have some greener pastures, and then we continue to remain poor. And when that happens, they are not the reason why we are poor. Can you hear that? Like, ladies and gentlemen, this, this, this should not be happening. Absolutely. And then they will allow us to do the things we are doing. Like they will let us travel outside the country and go and study. They will give us the visa to travel and come and study just to convince us so that we will continue to be poor. And when that happens, we are not going to be the reason why they are poor. Yes, that Africa plays a vital role in the Western world. God, like, when you look at what the man is saying, absolutely, it's wrong. Yeah, I do not even recommend that. The, the truth is that when you are even using someone for something, you do not project to let the person seem to be useless. Because he said they cannot allow Africa to be on top. They cannot allow us to grow. They cannot allow us to do the things that will be different. Because once Africa do something different, they are going to fall once africa is able to do something of their own they are going to fall and they are not going to be the reason why we are poor and due to that they will organize ed educational opportunities they can let you travel outside the country they will let you come and seek for greener pastures and then you feel at home you think that they like you and still they will use you for what they want it's just like you know that kind of ideology that let me give you something small and get something big invest more and take something this is what is happening they cannot shut all opportunities for the africans because they need to open way for us and we get access to some benefits and consider them that as they are also doing so well this is something that you know we, we shouldn't be talking about ladies and gentlemen like some things are there when you take to react people will type you as someone who talks about this or someone who uh, discriminates or something like that this is not about discrimination i am talking from what you have provided you gave a statement and then i'm reacting and this one the most annoying aspect of this one is it's lectures because when you look at it it's lectures that is ongoing and then ladies and gentlemen yes what the americans are saying right now to the africans is something debatable looking at what the americans are projecting lecturing their students in class i don't believe we have a better future because they are saying that they are not going to allow africa to grow because africans have something that they need to spend from which means that if they allow us to grow they are not going to get access to those materials or resources to be able to grow they said they need africa to be able to do the things they are doing they need africa because of resources they need africa because of materials they need africa because africa is where they depend from and then they are doing anything possible just to ensure that africans we cannot grow high because looking at this statement i'm not the one saying it yes most people will come to the comment section reacting that yes we are condemning this um, nation or something like, it's not about condemnation it's about what is projected what is said we picked it up there and then we also react i'm not the one saying these stories i'm not the one saying we are going to make the africans not to go top i'm not the one saying say we don't want the africans to grow because they are saying they need the africans to be able to develop they need the resources from us and therefore they cannot allow us to grow beyond eight for instance africa we provide the raw materials we have a lot of resources but we cannot process Due to that, we produce them at the resources and then they pick it up there to go and utilize it. And when that happens, we become handicapped. These are projections that when you compare the American society to the African society, it's like there's a high level of competition just to drag and bring the Africans down. We, I, I don't know why this thing should be happening. That they need Africa to grow they can allow africa to be able to grow forward they can allow africa to be on top because when you allow someone to be on top you cannot achieve what you want